Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. So today's topic is, what are standard per page rates for artists? Better yet, what are fair per page rates for artists? We'll talk about it more after the intro. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate you stopping by the channel. I, of course, am Lewis Porter Jr. And today we're going to talk about some more artist stuff. I guess the last time we did a topic about finances and related to role playing, it got a lot of interest. So I said, hey, let's talk about something that is just as interesting and something I'm dealing with right now that I think people would find not only you know fascinating, but kind of uh, scary and kind of upsetting. So let's talk about the standard page rate. I'm going to talk about this from the perspective of someone who is doing products specifically for role playing games and how much we pay for a full page of art that's an interior art, not a cover, but interior art. So you can get the, the difference. I think the standard that is acceptable and reasonable is for a full page, eight and a half by 11 US standard size. I believe that for that size, that page, for that kind of setup, you should pay out roughly about $200 per page for that. Now, if you extrapolate with that also, a half page, which would be eight and a half inches wide by 5.5 inches high, that should run you about $100. Now, at this price point, price level, how, what are we talking, how many characters are you talking about? It all depends. You might have one character and a lot of things going on in the background. You might have a lot of little things going on and like not any one big piece of it. It really is kind of determined you as the, I guess in this situation, be the art director, or in some cases, the game publisher, on deciding what they want as the image. I am a big fan of thinking that I'm a decent art director, but I know well enough that the best way to get really good at art direction is look at other people's work. So I have a Patreon page, I know the link's below, uh, I have a page on action and a page on character design. Right now, we're just going to talk about our action one. Our action scene has tons and tons of pieces of art that have already been created by other art directors with action scenes going on, some comics, some role playing, but you get the feeling and understanding how things should look and feel. And that's what I use with my artists to get them excited about what we're doing and what we're planning and what they can see. So, with that, I would suggest that you start and get a Pinterest page and start pulling out art you like and saving it. So later on, when you get your artist, you can go to them and say, hey, I like this for a cover. I like this for our interior. I like this here. It gives them something to work from for a sample. And let me tell you, artists will appreciate that even more. Because when you're describing art of what you want to see and stuff, it doesn't always translate well. I mean, let's be honest. Most people aren't art directors and they don't understand how that works. So, you know, look at someone else's work. Go from there. Help your artist. Your artist will more than appreciate that. Be like, oh, okay, you want some kind of scene like this? Yeah, I kind of want a scene like this. Great. I understand what you mean. And then they can be creative and do their own thing. Now, you know, like I said, two hundred dollars I think is very reasonable for the price of work that's being done. And I'm talking full color. So a lot of people are like, well, Lewis, what if I do black and white? How much is that? Well, it depends. If the person's looking to just get black and white art. I would charge less. It is more expensive to do color art than black and white art. That's just the way it is. Realistically, if you're doing a full page of art, a full page of art, black and white, automatically in my head is $100. That's what it is. Coloring helps bring out more accent to the actual image. A fair amount of colorists may not charge more than $30 to $50 for that. So, you know, $150, bucks, you get a pretty decent interior page. Or $200 bucks if you get one person to do it all. You know, all in one place, it's not a bad idea. But like I said, you've got to do what's best for you. I think 200 is nice. Some people might think 150 is nice, but that's a reasonable amount of money. No one's going to freak out about that. Um, some people would even consider it to be fair. So, but that's all dependent. Now, with that being said, with the full page and the half page, I guess my feeling would be a character design would run anywhere between, and the character design is just one image of one character just standing there. And usually you see it, a lot of times people do it for iconic characters or main story for characters. So that's just the one image, usually one image of them. So you can see them. That one can run anywhere between 75 to 100 bucks. I think that's more than reasonable. The people who work on this, you know, if you give them the correct 
<laughs> information and you go to your way to make it easy for them, they're not going to freak out because that's 100 bucks. Boom. No problem. Boom. They'll knock it out, do good artwork, get it colored. You can see it and be like, great, that's exactly what I want. I've done tons of these. If you look at many, most of my projects, we do a lot of character design work. I'm a big fan of character design work. I think it's important. I think if you're doing a campaign setting where you're going to have iconic uh, characters, if you're going to do iconic superheroes, you need to have those pictures drawn so people can see and they understand or, you know, archetypes, whatever. You, they need those kind of images. And, you know, if, if you get lucky with a good artist you have a good relationship with, maybe if, you, if they're going to do like 10 or 12 of them, maybe they'll give you a better discount. Because you're talking volume. They got a good job. They know you're going to pay them. It's all kind of a good deal. And that's reasonable. These are reasonable prices. No one will freak out. Now, the other side to this is the word fair. Is it fair that you pay them this? Is it fair that you pay them that? Some people get upset. I've heard, well, I'm talking about it specifically with me. There was a character design guy who worked with me. We initially did some work. Um, he did actually did a lot of work for me. And I believe we paid him like stuff like that, 75 and 100. Wasn't more than that. Like that was the range we were paying. And then he got picked up by a very large, well known gaming company. I'd say, like, you know, his this gaming company is in the top 10. You know about them. And they started paying him four times as much as what I was paying him. Now, could I meet those prices? Of course not. I'm not as big as this company, and I shouldn't have been. This person went to work for them. He did, I think. He did maybe a half a dozen images and didn't do any more work with them. You know, other people were coming in, new artists. Happens all the time. They use a the guy for a little bit. They like him. They don't like him. Things happen. I then returned to the guy and said, hey, I would love for you to do some work for me and like that. And he told me, oh, I'm sorry. My new rate's $400 per character. And I'm like, look, dude, I'm not this company. I can't do that. He's like, well, that's what my new rates are. You can take them or leave them. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Hey, I understand. You got to get paid or you got to get paid. That same person I haven't seen work in this industry in about three years. Now, he may not need to, but I don't know about you. I don't turn away money from something I'm good at, but I know he's done work for other people. I know he's gotten a little, little more comic book work and he's doing better, but I know, you know, it's, there are times because artists are artists. There are times then you're going to need somebody to fill in something real quick to use some quick cash because things happen. Jobs you thought you were going to get, they fall through. Things you thought were going to happen don't happen. It's possible. I wouldn't turn my nose up to what people would give you at a rate. People usually can pay you what they can afford. Sometimes they're holding out on you. Yeah, but if they're giving you a price, realistically, I believe, at least for me, I believe that's what they can afford based on what they're going to sell, based on what they're going to make. That's the way it is. But if you don't find it to be fair, then you shouldn't work with them. No, but then there's sometimes you'll find somebody that, yeah, you get paid less, but the job's a lot more creative. I've had a couple guys who work for me say, yeah, he didn't pay me as much as the big guys, but holy cow, he didn't stress me out as much as the big guys either. So, you know, that's, that's you got to kind of find a place that's good for you. As a uh, fan of comic books and a fan of gaming, I'm always looking for opportunities to find comic book guys who want to get seen more and maybe in a different light. I know, you know, I know I've, gotten tons of guys who were initially comic only guys to get into doing fantasy by dealing with me and said, oh, wow, I didn't even know this world was out there. And they started working and done pretty well. I think a lot of it just depends on telling the truth about what you need. Because a lot of times people will say, oh, yeah, I'm getting paid 600 bucks a page. Dude, you're not getting paid 600 bucks a page. There are very few people who get paid that well because it's expensive. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of money. A lot of work you got to put into it. And it happens sometimes. Some people do and some people don't. But I'm guessing the majority of people don't. Uh, I'll tell you back. This is a funny, kind of funny story. So, uh, yeah, 20 plus years ago, when I was working on my first role-playing game, Haven City of Violence, I had an opportunity to get uh, Tim Bradstreet to do a cover for me. Now, if you're not familiar with Tim Bradstreet, is did tons of the artwork for Vampire. And I mean, a lot of, a lot of black and white stuff. And for my role-playing game, Haven, it kind of fit perfectly. I mean, it had everything I loved. And I mean, I'm a big fan. I got his art books. Yep. So I got his art book over there, Maximum Black. Great art book. I might put a link if I can find a copy. I'll put a link to him, maybe an Amazon page below. And, you know, he gave me, he gave me a price for a cover. Now, at the time, I didn't have a lot of money. 
So I'm going to tell you what the number was, but I want you to understand. I didn't have a lot of money, and I was like, and this is pre, we're talking pre-internet. So this is like, not even really pre-internet. It's like, this is the baby. We're talking 1999, maybe even 1998. That's how far back this is. So I tell him what I'm looking to do, da 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 and he pitches me the price. Now, the price he said, because I can do this. I go full color for you. All the work, da da He's like $500. And at that point, I was like, oh, hmm. Ooh, it was expensive. I didn't have $500. I really wanted it, but I didn't have $500. So I had to tell him no. And he continued on doing great work. You know, he got picked up by Marvel, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's kind of the one moment like, ah, I wish I should have. I would have, should have. But the person we did get to do the cover did an amazing job. It was a wraparound cover. It was very matrixy, you know, a girl in leather clad, very much like Trinity, shooting a gun on the cover and guys getting shot in the back cover. Painted, beautiful piece, beautiful, beautiful piece. That piece cost me 200 bucks. Was that a fair price? I don't know. For them, it was. They need the money. I needed the cover. We kind of got to an agreement and it worked. Some people... It doesn't. Some people want a lot more. Some people want a lot less. If you're going to pay to get the artwork done, pay them. If they have an amount you can afford, just tell them you can afford. Maybe you can work something. Maybe you can't. But at least be honest with them. Most artists are generally know that you ain't got a lot of money. You're one man band. They know what you're going to have. But if you treat them right and fair, there's a good chance they'll do you a favor or solid, as you say, in the future. And everyone I've ever dealt with has done that so just something to think about you know like i said what's a what's a standard rate what's a fair rate whatever you really can afford but you know tell the truth to them if you can't afford a lot tell them you can't afford a lot they'll you know they'll make the choice they want to work with you or not you might do something cool they've always wanted to do that's another way they might be interested in working with you but it's a choice thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will talk to you all later Hey, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. If you could do us a super huge favor and click on that like button for this video, or even better, subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. As always, thanks for your support.